Yo, 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 what's up, man? Make sure you tune in to the Gotti Show live with Miss K every Thursday, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. on uh, the Gotti Show slash Uptown Radio slash Spreaker, Spreaker with an R dot com, Spreaker dot com. Search Uptown Radio or the Gotti Show live with Miss K. And uh, check this out. It's crazy shit happened to me last night, right? Well, early this morning, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a midnight mover. So I'm, I'm in my truck leaving from my, my partner house. And uh, it's about maybe 5 in the morning. It's about 4, 40 something. So I'm in my phone, you know what I'm saying? Get my phone and shit ready or whatever and shit. And so, you know, I got tinted windows and shit, but I see something move out the corner of my motherfucking eye. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? You know, so I say, uh, I look and I can make out two figures. So, t- hey, I ain't playing no games. Immediately, I hit reverse. You know what I'm saying? And get ready. So, cause I'm for, I'm for you know do my thing and peel out if they owe something. But if they ain't, you know, let's 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 you know be cool. You have to be responsible out here, man. Can't just be wilding the fuck out. I got shit to lose. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm seeing them. So I make out that it's a girl and a dude. So I'm like, what the fuck these motherfuckers want? But some of me, that motherfucker might need help. I, you know, I did some dumb shit. You know, my partner's, you know, snapped out or whatever. But I let the window down. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck y'all want, man. I'm like, what's happening? Do you know what they said? She said, do you know me? And dude was like, do you know her? And so I, I said, oh, my God. I said, no, nah, fam, I don't know her, man. She like, see, I told you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and then as they walking away, I hear the nigga say, you do know him. I said, fam, I hear him too. I said, fam, I don't know her. You know what I'm saying? Don't go in there and beat that girl up thinking that she know me. See, what happened was, I'm going to tell you what happened. She probably went out or something. You did. Went out. And uh, he didn't go. She probably got some girlfriends or some family because he is a little ugly, you know. I ain't, that was wrong. He just, you know, got a certain look. So, and I've been through this. I've been this person. You know what I'm saying? The girlfriends probably always want, uh, or the family want her to go out. She probably got people that's always going out and want her to come. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, dude. He ain't, he ain't in their eyes, got no money. You know what I'm saying? So, why she wasting her time on that nigga? You know, bitches will do that. You know what I'm saying? They'll do that shit. They'll tell your bitch, fuck dude, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got no money. Let's go be the nigga with your money. You did. So, yeah, she probably went out. You did. And uh, he was calling her, calling her, fucking with her, fucking up her good time. You know what I'm saying? Fucking it up. Kept calling her. Where you going home? Where y'all at now? What you doing? Who there? Put, put it on camera. You know what I'm saying? That type shit, right? So, at some point, she didn't answer that phone. You did. She didn't answer that phone. And that nigga came over there. <sighs> wow. Now, see, she had a, she had a little, little, little body on her. Little titty sticking out and shit like that. So, He probably like, everybody want to fuck her. Why do y'all motherfuckers think everybody want to fuck y'all, bitch? I guess because they do. Niggas say it all the time in rap songs. Damn. Y'all stop listening to these rap songs and shit, dog. And y'all other niggas stop trying to fuck every other nigga, bitch. Nah, scratch the last part. Just quit listening to the shit that you hear in these rap songs. You did. Now, this nigga, let me tell you how that's dangerous for you young niggas, man. This nigga come out here. He don't know what I'm on. I don't know what he on. D 
Did he have a gun and was prepared to kill me if I said, yeah, I know her? Or was he just going to turn and start beating her up? Why would a bitch want to put up with that kind of strife and stress? You hear me? I'm still here. I ain't going nowhere. You ain't crazy. I'm just, I'm just baffled. You know what I mean? To where this man to make this woman come outside at five motherfucking o'clock in the morning and come up to a car she know she don't know. This time, hey, little homie, this time she was telling the truth, bro. bro. She was telling the truth. She don't know me. I don't know her. I wouldn't have been fucking with her. She didn't look like she had no money. You know what I mean? She didn't look like shit. You know what I'm saying? That's that's bottom of the knife action. You did. It was dark, so I ain't just gonna count her out. But she wasn't light skin or nothing, so you know. But uh, not saying that's you know you know what I mean. But I'm just saying, you know, fuck that anyway though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to fuck around. But don't be running up the niggas' cars about these bitches, bro. If you can't trust of this motherfucker girl to not fuck and suck somebody when you ain't around, then you need to quit her, homie. You need to quit her. You need to quit her. <laughs> that's funny. But, um, yeah, that's too much stress, man. You stressing yourself and her. Eventually, you going to kill a bitch. Or somebody going to kill you, you going to end up, you know what I mean? It's just a bad saying, get out of it. Get out of it. And these girls, y'all better stop putting it on these motherfuckers like that. They can't handle it. They cannot handle it. Suck them normally. Give them a pussy. Don't get it as wet. Think about other stuff in your head to make your pussy not be so wet and gushy and shit like that. Because you're driving these men crazy. Some of them can't take that. Some of them ain't never had no pussy. You probably the first piece of real pussy they got. And you gonna put the nasty on them. Just just put the put the proto movie on them. You know how they doing them proto movies? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. Cause you gonna get one of these niggas kip running up on niggas' trucks. And niggas don't know if it's a robbery or not. I have a lot of shit. I'm in a nice truck. I'm in the alley. First off, because I ain't want to get no ticket. So I'm in the alley. That's a bad scene, bro. Better be lucky that I'm I'm a responsible armed citizen. Better be lucky. Because it could have went down. Back, man. Hey, seven, eight years ago. Oh, I'd have been so mad at them for making me shoot them. You know what I'm saying? Over some bullshit. Because I wouldn't even see what it was going to be about. I'd have just let my window down and start shooting. You know what I mean? Real shit. Anybody could have done that, bro. You all up on me. It's five in the morning. We in the alley. In a, in a, in a neighborhood that's known for crime and shit like that. Come on. Don't play with your life like that, man. Google OG Gotti. Google Live with Miss K. Check us out, baby. Then don't.